Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys for what is a really exciting topic that we need to discuss because today we're going to be going through 10 players who have the potential to improve under the leadership of Hansi Flick at Barca. We're going to be discussing each player in detail, each with a different reason as to why Flick's arrival could be really beneficial to them and let me know in the comments once you've seen all 10 whether you agree or disagree on these names and also whether there's anybody that you would add. I hope you're going to enjoy it and thank you indeed for tuning in. Let's do this. Because I really do believe guys that this is an important topic to discuss right now because I think with Hansi Flick coming in and especially with the words that we've heard from Juan Laporta, the feelings inside of the club, there's a real emphasis with Flick on improving the squad that we already have. Because yes, this summer there are going to be signings. There's going to be a few players coming in. Not a huge number, but several key signings in key areas of the team. But in general here, Flick's main objective is to achieve success with the talented squad that we have. With players here who have potential, who do have quality, but we have to fully utilise and maximise that right here. So that is why it's important to look at players that can improve. It's important here to look at players who have more to give. And can we see that under Flick? Because first up, I would throw out the name here of Frankie de Jong. Because I believe of all the coaches that Frankie will have had at Barca in his career here, I think Hansi Flick maybe could be the coach who most understands how to fully utilise Frankie de Jong. And I'm talking there about a double pivot. Because we've all known for a long time now that Frankie de Jong was never going to be a successful single pivot at Barca. That is not their opposition that suits his skill set. He needs to play in a two. And providing this summer we actually get a proper defensive-minded midfielder to go alongside him, a top quality one, could Hansi Flick finally be the coach that really sees Frankie de Jong explode into the player that he can be? Because look, there's no denying, Frankie is still one of our most consistent players. He still puts in some very, very good top performances, but there's still more. We still know there's a level that Frankie can reach that we haven't seen yet in Barca colours, and can Flick be the man to get that out of him? Because on that very note as well, guys, I would also mention Ronald Araujo here today, because I believe this is a player right here who we know, again, he is top quality. He has provided some absolutely wonderful performances. He's led our defence single-handedly at times in the past at Barca, but I do believe he's a player right now who's in need of a bit of a confidence boost, of course. Looking at the way the end of last season ended for him, the way the mistakes happened, the way that he started really lunging into tackles, losing his head, losing his focus at times at the back, which you cannot do at a top-level club. But I think Flick coming in here, and especially given the fact that Flick actively wants him at the club. You know, I think for Araujo to hear that, it's really important there that once Flick arrived at the club, the very message that we heard is that he wants Frankie and he wants Ronald Araujo. Two of those players there that he can put his arm around and say, look, I know your quality, I know your ability, and I want you guys at the heart of my team. And I think that's what Araujo needs. And I almost want to see again in Araujo's game that sense of arrogance, that sense of knowing I'm going to stop you. At times we've seen him come up against Vinicius in Classicos where he's basically said, you're not beating me. You're not going to find a way past me. I am here and I will stop you. I want that Araujo back again. I want that destroyer at the heart of our defence and Flick will need that too. And for sure, another defensive player that we've got to mention here is Alejandro Balde. Now this is somebody that, do not forget guys, not so long ago, obviously last season wasn't the best for Balde with injury and then at the start of the season not really coming into much form under Chaffee, but the season before that, he was unbelievable for us at left back, and he was absolutely fantastic, not only there defensively, he is not a weak link defensively, he's a very, very good player there that can be solid at the back, but going forward at times, he was influential, he'd pick up the ball, he'd start attacks, he'd be dribbling, he'd actually be coming central at times and joining in in the build-up, and he was doing everything for us, absolutely wonderful player, we wanted to renew his contract desperately, we wanted to tie him down for many, many years to come at Barca, and now he's almost just stagnated because of last season, and I think Hansi Flick here is the perfect guy to come in and just get Balde back to doing what he does best there, using that pace, using all of that ability on the left side, we 
We've spoken about the comparisons there with Alfonso Davies, how well Flick had him playing in his system at Bayern. I would love to see him do the same thing here at Barca with Alejandro Balde because he has the ability. This is a young player, still young, still plenty of time for him. And I just can't wait to see him, first of all, back fit and then under Flick with that influence, hopefully getting back to his influential best. And then there's Pedri. Absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. Pedri is a player that can do so much more. He is one of our most talented players out of anybody that we have in the squad right now. And I still don't believe we've seen the absolute best of him at Barca. I still don't believe positionally that we've seen the best from him there. We've spoken already about the fact that he might play a more advanced role under Hansi Flick. He can score goals. He can be involved in the final third. So why don't we see that on a more regular basis from him? And of course, as well, on the physical side, we need Pedri fit. We need Pedri available. We need to manage him correctly there. We need to understand what his body needs because he's had far too many injuries there. His body has gone through it. On one hand, he played too many games. Then he missed too many games. We need to find the right balance with Pedri. Hansi Flick can do that. His staff, the physical staff that are coming in, have got a very big part in that as well. And I have huge hopes for Pedri ahead of the coming season and at the Euros. I think he's going to shine. But speaking there about a more advanced position in midfield, I would like to throw out a name here that you may not have been expecting. Noah Darvich, because he is a 17-year-old player though, who's been playing under Rafa Marquez at Barca Athletics since he joined the club. And this is a very, very talented player. Now, if Xavi had stayed at the club, there didn't really seem to be any willingness to use Noah Darvich in the first team because Chaffee felt as though he didn't really have a midfield role that suited him. You know, Noah Darvich is somebody there that likes to play as a number 10. That didn't really happen in Chaffee's system. He couldn't really trust him to play as an interior. But again, under Hansi Flick, there's going to be a more advanced midfielder. And I think Noah Darvich, you saw on Instagram actually, as soon as Flick was announced, he was very excited. I think he definitely sees here more opportunities now coming his way. He is a big talent. He is certainly somebody there that can make that step up. And I think we will see him get opportunities under Flick, more advanced, closer to goal, and he will thrive in that area. Which is interesting, because another player that I think could definitely go up several levels and certainly show more consistency under Hansi Flick is Rafinha. Because I would actually look here at the words from Laminha Mao. He's, of course, another player that we have on that right side. Once Flick was announced there as the coach, he openly said, I'm excited about him. I'm excited to play there in that Hansi Flick team because he can be a manager that plays with a more direct style, you know, certainly there with more pace about the play. And I just think that suits Rafinha too. I look at Rafinha here, you look at what he was doing with Leeds, for example, in the Premier League, when things were a bit more open at times, when things there were a bit quicker in terms of the football, Rafinha thrives in that kind of environment. And I think Rafinha is going to have a bit more freedom under Hansi Flick, because even, don't forget, he can play central as well, you know, in a more advanced midfield role. We saw Chaffee try him there, and it worked at times. It's certainly worked well on many occasions when Rafinha was picking the ball up in those pockets. And I think there's lots of potential here for Rafinha. Another player that Hansi Flick wants to keep at the club, that's because he can see potential there. That's because he can see what Rafinha is able to do. And I'm excited to see him under Flick in the coming season before then. We talk about Jao Felix. Now, we are talking about a player here, guys, that technically right now, he's not our player yet ahead of next season. But if reports are to be believed, everybody would like to keep him at the club. And that's a really important point right there. It's another player here that Flick would like to see stay at Barca. And of course, we've heard already that Flick wanted Jao Felix when he was at Bayern Munich. And I think that already shows that he can see where Felix would fit in in his system. And that's a really important thing here. Because don't forget, under Xavi, he never wanted Jao Felix. Jao Felix is a player there that at the very end of the summer transfer window was forced on him, basically, by the board there because of those George Mendes links, because he was available in the market. Chaffee was given Jao Felix and then he was expected to find the answers. He was expected to find a way, miraculously, to fit him in his system. It didn't really work out. We saw flashes, we saw moments there of Jao Felix quality, but we did not see anything on a consistent basis. And I also think with Hansi Flick, he will demand 
that Zhao Felix works hard. You know, it will not be acceptable for Zhao Felix in some games to just coast through it. You've got to apply yourself. You've got to be there every single minute of every game. We need that hunger. We need that motivation. And again, Zhao Felix needs pushing. You know, we need to really push this man to get the best out of him because the talent is there. Every single coach that's had this guy knows it. He's got the quality, but you need to provide it and perform on a consistent basis. And again, you're looking at that central area playing maybe just in behind the centre forward, there's lots of players that can play in that role. There's going to be lots of competition there. But again, Zhao Felix is another player that could thrive in that kind of role. And then coming in at number eight... Well, it's got to be Vitor Roque. I think of all the players here that we're going to discuss, this is one of the biggest names, one of the biggest conversations that we're going to have under Flick. What's he going to do with Roque? And certainly there, he's going to give him a chance. That's the most important thing. That's the bare minimum here that we were looking for with Roque. A big money signing coming in. A young player there that, again, his confidence has taken a massive hit under Chavi. He didn't get opportunities. He didn't get chances. He was cast aside. He thought that he might be leaving the club this summer immediately after joining... And now he has a new lease of life. Flick wants to take a good look at him. He wants him to have opportunities and we'll need him in the coming season because we need competition up front. We need players there who are battling and fighting hard to show their best level. I've got no doubt in my mind that Roque can succeed here. He is an exciting number nine. He can certainly score goals. We've already seen that in a Barca shirt. When he got chances, he was in and around the penalty area. He was looking dangerous when he had that spark about him. Don't forget as well that red red card decision. That affected him too. He was actually coming into a nice little run of form, scoring goals, starting to get things together that wasn't playing him. It was La Liga that ruined it. They sent him off for absolutely nothing. It's time to put all of that to one side now, just a reset for Vitor Roque and basically treat this as he's signing now. He's signing for Barca this summer in his mind. Start fresh and start as you mean to go on. However though guys, at number nine, a fresh start is exactly what is needed too for Ansu Fati. Now this is one that I'm putting in here more out of hope, I've gotta be honest with you. I hope that Hansi Flick can get something out of Ansu Fati. Because again, the most important thing is, it is a fresh start for him. Because again, under Xavi, there wasn't a great deal of trust there, was there, towards Ansu Fati. Xavi didn't really seem to be convinced by him. We saw a few appearances fleeting here and there. And of course, then last season, he went out on loan, where things didn't really get too much better for him at Brighton in the Premier League. So again, here for Ansu, it's a case of coming back. He said already, he's been working hard, he's in the gym, he wants to make sure he's absolutely tip-top condition for the new season. And he'll need to hit the ground running. He needs to have a really special preseason where he shows us all again what he can do. I do believe that somewhere it's in there. Whether it's me being deluded, I don't know. Whether it's me just really wanting it to happen, I don't know. But I believe somewhere in Ansu Fati, the quality still exists. He can still be so effective in front of goal. He can rediscover that touch that we once saw. But can we see it now? Under Hansi Flick, that is going to be the biggest question before last and certainly not least. I think you probably knew it was coming. Robert Lewandowski. Now again, I don't know whether this is put in here simply out of hope. I don't know. But there is certainly part of me that thinks, okay, Hansi Flick, he knows Robert Lewandowski. And I also think, guys, towards the end of the time here with Xavi at Barca, I don't actually think Lewandowski and Xavi saw eye to eye. You know, although Xavi did play Lewandowski pretty much non-stop, he certainly put his faith in him. It didn't actually seem as though Lewandowski was actually getting on all that well with Xavi behind the scenes. So make of that what you will there and I just think here under Hansi Flick I've said it before a coach that knows him well a coach that knows how to play with him how he can be effective and we must play to Lewandowski's strengths when he's on the field get him opportunities surround him first of all with players get players closer to him do not leave him isolated he is not somebody there that's going to be immaculate with his all-round game you know at the end of the day you've got to get players close to him you've got to create chances for him because if you do that he will score goals no matter how old he is no matter what kind of form he's in, Lewandowski is still capable of scoring big goals in big moments and Hansi Flick will still need that from him in the current season. So I think our setup there, it's going to change, our build-up play is going to change too under Hansi Flick and surely that can be a positive for Lewandowski. The way that he wants to play, the way that he needs chances, he needs supply in order to thrive and let's hope that Flick understands again how to get the very best out of Robert Lewandowski. And I 
want to know, guys, what you make of those ten names there. Do you agree with them? Which ones do you agree with? Which ones do you disagree with? Are there players in there that you think, actually, no, there's no chance. They're not going to improve. Hansi Flick is not going to help them at all. And I'd also ask you, is there anybody that I've missed? Is there any player here that you think, actually, he's a great player to have under Flick? He can really go to another level. Do let me know all of those comments down below, guys. I'm really interested to know here what you are thinking. And I'm excited, very, very excited to see what Flick is going to do with the entire Barca squad. I will catch you soon though with lots more uploads on the way. Thank you indeed as always for your great support but until next time as always Vishka El Barca. Uh -huh.